Thank you. Yeah, I guess I don't really have slides, just more uh, notes. Um, yeah, um, thank you. And um, hi, everyone. Uh, uh, for those I haven't met, whether in person or online, I'm Thibaut Lestan. I joined the SSI Fellows in 2021. Um, and at the time, I was working uh, actually with uh, Abhishek here um, in the Oxford IRC group, the central group. Uh, and about, I think, a year into the fellowship, I actually moved to Imperial College, where I became the an, an IRC, still an IRC, but in the aeronautics department. And uh, it was an interesting transition because I uh, I went from uh, being a part of the RC group to being the only and 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 actually the first RC in a department. So it's something that was new uh, for me, but also new for the department. And so in a way, it gave me a little bit more freedom to explore some of the ideas um, that I wanted to explore in my SSI fellowship, which is uh, which is around code review, and I'll talk about it. But also, it gave me a bit less time to do so. So more freedom to do stuff, but also less time. So <laughs> there's a balance to find really between the two things. Um, so as I said, my my code review proposal, uh, my fellowship proposal was was very much centered about around the idea of code review, um, and code review, which I defined as the sort of typical technique where if you work on a project with some with some other people. You'd have you'd have you'd have points points in time where you're going to sit down with them or have a meeting with them and or through an interface online um, somebody's going to have a look at your code and and you're going to look at their code as well in in return um, and it's really something that I my claim is that I haven't really seen that anywhere in academic circles um, and I know that a lot of people actually use code review tools uh, because of or if you if you work on GitHub, for instance, or GitLab, th there is code review baked into these tools. So people actually go through a code review stage, but it's not something that most groups or teams that I've been working or talking with actually thought about. It's more just a byproduct of, oh, it's part of the tool, but but it's code review is not something that is really ingrained into the way that we work, right? And for teams where they don't actually work on a single code base and they all work on their own little script or project, but they actually work on the same research area, then it's very rare that people would actually go through code review and, and have a look at each other's code and try and learn from each other through this medium. And so um, I wanted to sort of explore whether it's something that we could bring um, and if it's useful if it's possible and the, the an important question was can we just take what is done in the software industry where that's very much a thing and just apply it to research and so it's interesting because um the, the the as i wrote here the code review the success factors are not very technical it's not about how good programmer you are it's more about uh, the, the key skills are, I would say, pedagogy and empathy. So it's very much a communication exercise. So that's quite interesting. Um, and um, it's also not something that is close to scientific peer review. Um, when I talk about code review to people in academia, they tend to think about the peer review process where you write your, do your research, you write a paper, and then there's a peer review stage. But code review in this context, I I think I'm thinking more about something that happens throughout the research process, and actually it would be, a, uh, it would be counterproductive to have it at the end of the of the process. So it's quite different. Um, and so, a few highlights since 2020, which is just before I started the fellowship, um, I actually started um, trying to set up what I call the code review network. And actually, Abhishek again was was also involved in this. Um, it was at Oxford. Uh, the idea was to have a repo that would make it available for, for researchers across the University of Oxford to coordinate code reviews with each other. So the idea that you would open an issue and say, I've got this code, I'm looking for somebody who knows Python and to review it. And so there's a load, I wrote, you know, loads of guidelines and scenarios to actually, okay, what's a code review? How do you do it? Um, and then a few guidelines for, okay, well, 
I'm reviewing some code, what should I look at? And going from st style guide all the way to actually more design things. So you would go from 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 top from bottom to top, I guess, in terms of complexity. But so but then COVID happened. Uh, obviously, the COVID happened. People having less time, um, and then also maybe GitHub was not the right platform. But so it didn't really take off. Uh, and then through the fellowship, um, I uh, organized well, I co-organized with other fellows uh, with Dominic and Valerio. Uh, code review workshop that I was against that was in online uh, February 2022 um, and so that was a workshop where we we had people to gather again online and then uh, have an introduction about code review but then most importantly practice code review so we prepared a list of few code snippets um, that people could go into a breakout room and actually do code review with each other um, with mentors so we had a few mentors uh, who are who were experiencing code review and could uh, could help them. Um, and so the last thing that I would like to mention is the code review community, uh, which which has been an effort I've been also involved with um, throughout the, the past two years. Um, again, it's the idea is to have a, a, a living document um, that would provide guidelines for code review. Uh, as you can see, it's quite rough. It's not exactly finished. I'm not sure it will be, but that's the start. Um, and again, we have guidelines on how to do code review in an academic context. As I said, I moved to Imperial College. It was quite a change in, in context and in my responsibilities and uh, my environment. Um, but I also have a little bit more freedom uh, to experiment. And so what I try to do at Imperial is to try to uh, bring code reviews with, um, for instance, PhD students and postdocs in a department. So this is, for instance, a group of, of our, our work with. They're all PhD students. They all started basically together a year ago. And what we do is that we have weekly code review meetings uh, where they can all share their code and we sort of critique the code uh, together. So it's not really a typical code review. It's it's in person. It's periodic, so it's not like you would have a a, a pull request on GitHub and then a code review is something that happens on a periodic basis. And again, they don't really work on one code base, but they actually have their own codes. But they we will review each other's code. Um, and so it's quite a different model, and I think it's a model that could apply a bit more in certain contexts in academia. So I'm, I'm trying it and I'm, I'm piloting it. There are challenges. Um, it's not. A completely smooth application of the industry process, but um, I'm trying to figure out what works, what doesn't. And so, I guess in terms of the next step uh, until November, when my uh, fellowship ends, um, I'm still planning on maybe organizing a, a code review workshop similar to what I've done online, but in person at Imperial, I guess. Um, and um, also address the 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 asynchronous style code review, so the more GitHub style code review where people are more used to this, but there are, there are a lot of challenges uh, uh, as well. So yeah, uh, I think it's about eight minutes. So I was asked to do seven, so I'm going to stop here. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to, always happy to talk about code review.